What's up everyone? This is Ben from The Spirit of Running, and today we're talking about the 361 Centauri. In my unboxed video I said this was going to be a tank of a shoe, and I think that statement holds up. Uh, let's get some specs out of the way. Manufacturer's website says that this shoe is 9.8 ounces. Uh, it has a 29 to 20 millimeter uh, heel to toe drop, giving us a 9 millimeter drop. Uh, when I weighed my size 10, um, mine came out to 11.2 ounces. Um, so this is not a lightweight, super fast race day shoe. Um, but if you're looking for a great utility shoe, boy have you found it. Moving through the shoe, we've got a really nice rubber on the bottom protecting that midsole material. Uh, one thing that you'll find is that the midsole is very durable as on its own. Um, so I think that this shoe is going to hold up really well no matter what you put it through. Uh, the upper fit really well to me. Uh, I wear a size 10 across the board on, on most cases and this shoe felt true to size. You've got good cushion around the heel cup. Um, when I initially stepped into the shoe, it felt a little shallow. But the more that I wore the shoe, uh, that went away. I didn't have any issues with heel slippage. Um, and I think it's going to, for almost everybody, fit really well. Runners and walkers. I think this is going to be a great shoe to walk in. Um, if you're if you're running in it, I think that this is going to work well as a long mileage daily trainer. Given the weight of the shoe, I don't think this is going to fall into the speed work category. Um, but I did try and pick up the pace on a couple runs in this shoe, and it did respond very well. So I I think that um, if we're looking at kind of one shoe to do every all of our weekly mileage in and then we've got our race shoe separate from that um, this could work into the rotation uh, on that as well or if you're um, just out there getting your miles in and you know running is just something that, that you really enjoy doing um, but you're not interested in a lot of time goals or um, you know things like that man I think this is a really good uh, really good shoe for you uh, downside is that it is on the heavier side so if you're that person that likes the the lightweight shoe for everything. This may not be the shoe for you, um, but I, th I think that we should also consider that an ultra lightweight shoe is not the best shoe for everything either. Um, if you're hitting the gym, I think this has a variety of applications. Um, depending on, on what you're doing, it may or may not be great for you. Uh, if you're if you're if you're heading in doing some cardio, um, whether you're you're on the the stair machine, the treadmill, the elliptical, um, I don't see any issues with that. If we're doing um, you know dumbbell lifting machines, again, no problem there. Um, overall, the volume of the shoe is is really nice, just kind of overall for everything. I don't think you're going to have any trouble fitting into any any machines or any foot straps. Um, where I do have concern for the gym is if we're lifting heavy. Um, the density of the shoe lends itself to heavy lifting, but the heel to toe drop on this shoe, I think is gonna be slightly problematic. The reason being that with that heel being nine millimeters above the forefoot, um, as, as we warm up, it's not gonna be an issue, but as you go heavier and heavier, um, we really wanna be lower in the shoe um, to, to, to wrap the weight on those heavier lifts. Um, I would be a little concerned that as, as you come down into a squat or a deadlift and, and come back up, that that center of gravity is going to shift forward into the toes um, more than we would like to see. For runners heading into the gym, I think this is going to do, do really well. Most of us are, are more focused with um, core and trunk strength and supplementation of what we're doing out on the road or on the track. Um, and I don't think you're going to have an issue with that. Um, using this shoe for anything that you're using it for. Um, if you're in the boot camp CrossFit Orange Theory crowd, um, I think this, this shoe has a lot of potential as well. Um, again, the grip on the bottom of that shoe is just phenomenal. So getting down and doing some burpees, um, doing the, um, the mountain climbers, um, anything like that, we're not going to slip out, we're not going to lose traction. Um, the, the forefoot is is thin enough that I think if, if you're doing a lot of um, lateral movements, a lot of jumping movements, um, that you know we're not going to roll over in that shoe. Um, I think you're going to find that it's a very stable shoe, um, you know, for any kind of movements that you're doing in there. Again, if you're in that CrossFit crowd, I would be concerned about um, either like heavy lifting on a on a workout. 
um, or on like a supplemental day um, when we're, we're loading the bars a little more. You might want a different shoe for those days. Um, but I think um, as a general idea and a, uh, a general shoe to have in the bag, uh, this one's gonna do well for you. Moving into the workspace, um, I think that this was a very comfortable shoe when I wore it to work. Um, again, I wore it for an eight hour shift. Didn't really have any issues. Felt very comfortable from start to end. The colors on the shoe, um, regardless of the colorway that you're looking at, um, are, are pretty neutral. And so I think that um, it's a pretty non-offensive shoe um, when, we're, when we're looking at um, having interactions with customers or um, just trying to be in a comfortable shoe, but the one that's not gonna draw a lot of attention to yourself. Um, if you're moving through different weather conditions, um, wet to dry, um, again, we go back to the fact that it's got really good rubber on the bottom, so it's gonna grip really well. Um, and I think if you're in a more active um, environment where you're maybe in a little more labor intensive job, um, the structure of the shoe is gonna benefit you pretty well. Um, if this is a shoe that you're interested in, I would definitely encourage you to go find your local running store. Um, definitely go tr check it out, try it on, and see how it feels. Um, other shoes to consider while you're there would be the Brooks Ghost, the Hoka Clifton 9, and the New Balance 880. Um, all of those shoes are gonna be in a similar price point and um, kind of fit the same bill and the same build that this shoe um, you know, sits inside. If this video was helpful to you, uh, please do me two favors, hit that like button and go ahead and hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any uh, future videos to come out. The more people that like and the more people that subscribe, the bigger the audience gets and the more people find us.